All right, so these are all the prints we printed on the Saturn IV. Everything went well, and I love how large the build volume is. And also this flip up cover is super convenient. So we got a few prints. Let's start with our root here that we first printed. So we can see the bottom looks really good. There's a little bit of pitting from bubbles in the resin, but if we look at the lettering and the detail, the sharpness, it's excellent. And I was obviously expecting that from this printer. And yeah, Elegoo got so good at this stuff that there's really nothing to complain about. Pretty much perfect. So let's check out this pretty detailed print. So this is like an elf and I did have supports on this and it's completely solid. Yeah, it does have some shiny parts. I didn't wash it as good as I needed to, but you guys can see the detail is super impressive. So it's not perfect, perfect, but it's very, very good. And some of it has to do with the resin I used. I realized that this resin is actually old or an older bottle that I have that's expired. Yeah, overall, you guys can see that the detail is all there and it does look pretty much perfect, which is quite incredible. Here we have this droid lizard thing, and this is really cool because it has all these holes. And if we look at the top here, it looks pretty much perfect. Yeah, even here on the smoother parts, it's beautiful. Now, I did do an experiment with this thing and I had a very low exposure time and a few layers on the bottom and they ended up delaminating. So we did have that issue, but that was kind of my fault. I was, I was kind of experimenting with different settings to see how low I can go. And this was 10 seconds, I think, on the first three layers. So yeah, pretty minimal there and it didn't really want to stick. So for my printer, I ended up going to around 25 seconds on the first five layers, which is about right. You guys can see the print does look really good. So here we have another print that's pretty cool because detailed and very thin on the antlers. But yeah, overall looks great. Very smooth body all around. There is a few little layer lines here and there, but they're quite minimal. But yeah, if we go here to the face and to the antlers, pretty incredible of how well and detailed this printer is. The next print we have is actually really cool. This is called a Neuron. So this is just a bunch of like webs in between each other. And this would be very hard to make on anything else but a resin 3D printer. So yeah, it's pretty incredible what you could do everything is pretty much perfect and this is the bottom here you guys can probably tell it is a little bit thicker than the rest of it but yeah other than that pretty much perfection so here we have a Eiffel tower and this is printed the full height or maybe almost i can't remember it was either 218 or 220 but yeah it's pretty much the full height and yeah this thing turned out very nice and sharp i did break off one of the foots taking it off being too hasty but anytime you print straight to the build plate it's you know sometimes it's a little tricky to take it off but yeah as far as the detail guys it's quite incredible it is so sharp and so precise and perfect, I would say. There's nothing to complain about here. And you can see through these. I don't know if you guys can see, but yeah, you can see through all of these all the way to the top, even all the way up there. So very, very high precision print and looks excellent. And the last print we got is quite large and it's this model of Deadpool. So for the most part, this thing turned out great, except for the bottom part here. I kind of messed it up. This is hollowed out also and drained here from the top. I have a plug in there. And also I made a hole here so I could breathe in the back so I could wash it. But we had some delamination here on the bottom. So I think I didn't have enough layer exposure, especially for these larger pieces. But I'm not sure exactly what went wrong there. The bottom itself looks pretty much perfect. And yeah, it's just this first layers. And I think I didn't clean it out as well because we do have a little bit of cracking on the bottom as there's some resin inside that's trying to cure. If we ignore all that and go up higher here, we can see the detail is incredible. And this thing turned out very, very nice. So yeah, if you plan on printing things like this, you will be very happy and satisfied with the results. Pretty amazing. And it's awesome that you can print larger items like this because you do have the volume. So yeah, you guys can see that this is a pretty versatile printer and it does a great job for just normal printing. It is quite smart, meaning if you don't have enough resin in there, it won't even start a print. It'll ask you to add it. It also has an intelligent mechanical sensor that can feel if something's wrong. The auto bed leveling is quite awesome as somehow it auto calibrates and knows how to adjust itself for the bed leveling. We obviously have a 12K mono screen that's quite high fidelity as you see in the prints. The Fresno lens helped the UV light come out perfectly straight for better precision. The build volume is large at 218 by 122 by 220 tall millimeters. The way the build plate secures is so nice and easy to use and the touch screen here is also very nice with high resolution. So yeah this printer has a lot to offer and because it doesn't have any of the more fancier features like Wi-Fi connectivity and the tilting tub mechanism it does put this printer in the more budget conscious buyers which makes it a great value for what you get.